Oh, boy, it's anniversary Sunday. And uh, praise the Lord, 13 years ago, I became the pastor of the church. And boy, I'm thankful for that. And then our church is now 53 years old. And, uh, and I look back there, Sister Mansfield, good to see if you raise your hand. And uh, praise the Lord. Do you remember the, the day I became the pastor? And I said, I in need of help. And uh, you took over the church finances and did all the books and did all of that work. And you and Brother Joe, and he passed away earlier this year, were just there helping every step of the way with your kindness, just your dedication. And uh, boy, good memories. And I thank you for your faithfulness. And then Brother Sammy Jefferson, Brother Sammy Jefferson, if you'll raise your hand, Brother Sammy Jefferson also has been here uh, forever. And uh, I'm going to show in a little bit, right before the offering, a Bible, Sister Glenda Tyndall's Bible, and how you, uh, in that page, it shows where the date, the deed for this property was signed. You signed that deed, Brother Sammy, but I appreciate you, your encouragement. It's been a blessing. And uh, praise the Lord. No, no, let's just look at some pictures. We ought to look at some pictures. Brother, Brother Andy, you got some pictures for us? We can go look at this. Oh, Johnson Hall. And uh, the church started in a house and shortly thereafter moved to Johnson Hall down in South Norfolk. And uh, praise the Lord. Uh, stories about how Johnson Hall on Saturday, they would have dances, parties, there would be beer bottles. And so they would get around and clean up the property. They would bring in the church pews and they'd have a bus parked outside for Sunday school. And uh, not about four years ago, Johnson Hall got uh, tore down. I remember going over there and looking at the property going in there. And let's look at this next one we have. And uh, Pastor Jack Meeks, the founding pastor, and always on a mountaintop. And uh, he was a fireball. By the way, uh, they were raising money for this property, the church building, and uh, they were short some $300. And uh, there was a visiting lady that was there, and uh, Brother Jack Meeks said, we're not leaving until we get that $300 we need. So they passed the plate, and he just expected God to work, and they passed the plates and nothing, it wasn't there. And uh, so I guess he passed the plates again and, and it wasn't there. And he passed the plates again. He said, we're not leaving if it takes us till one o'clock, two o'clock. Uh, and then this one lady finally got up and didn't even pass the plate. He said, if I pay, and she's a visitor, she said, if I give that, that money, will you let me out of here? <laughs> and, uh, but praise the Lord. What a great, great man. Let's look at this. Next part, the cornfield. That's where we're at right now. Uh, this property right here, and uh, they, they needed to get out of Johnson Hall. They needed a place to build a church building. They came over and asked the farmer here, uh, from what I understand, to see if he would sell. And uh, he wouldn't. And they had a prayer meeting right here and asked the Lord to give them this property. And the, the Lord worked on that farmer's heart and uh, they sold this property here. And, and praise God, we're blessed because of that. Uh, look at this next picture right here. Oh, the church bus ministry. And uh, Brother Norman Hardison, uh, who is a, a great man in, our, in the church here, has passed away. But his son, Scotty Hardison, was reached through the bus ministry. And Scotty Hardison started to come to church here. And Sister Mansfield, you knew Brother Norman Hardison before he got saved. And uh, there's a lot of stories that we're not going to discuss. But when you and Joe came to church here, you looked over and you saw Norman Hardison and he prayed. And it, you'd tell the story about how it shocked you. And you began to realize if God can work on him, well, this is the place I want to be. And uh, praise the Lord for that bus ministry. Let's look at this next one right here. Oh, oh. Right there to the left, uh, Norman Hardison, and then Mr. Mister, and then right there in that sort of checkered right there is Brother Sammy Jefferson. That's you. And uh, you look a little younger, but you still have the same amount of hair. And so uh, praise the Lord. And then Pastor Jack Meeks right there. Praise God for God's faithful Amen. people. Next one. Let's see here. Ah, the second pastor on the left, Pastor Pete Lopresti. And I remember meeting him. He was still active in the area. He not long ago passed away. But Pete Lopresti, low, not high, press, not wrinkled, tea, not coffee, a different 
personality than Pastor Jack Meeks, but God used him in a great way. And through the ministry of Lopresti, they built the fellowship hall over there. And then Clark Mahoney. And uh, I saw Clark Mahoney's, uh, I believe it's his daughter. And I don't think it was his granddaughter, but his daughter. And I asked about Clark Mahoney, he's still in Texas. And he travels around as sort of an interim pastor filling pulpits. Uh, but Clark Mahoney was the longest tenured pastor here at our church. He was here for 18 years and they built the Sunday school wing over there and uh, the Lord used him in a great way. The next picture right here, uh, there we go. That's Pastor Jim Neeson and he was the pastor before me. When he came here, there was some struggles with the old auditorium and the building began to be needed to be condemned. And so brother uh, Jim Neeson led to the rebuilding of now our Sunday school uh, rooms over there. And uh, God used him in a great, great way. And I'm thankful for Pastor Neeson. What do we have next here? There we go. That's the building of it. Yes. Look at these next ones. Here we go. Oh, Mrs. Mansfield. This is one of the first. Do you remember Miss Linda Music? I think this is the first baptism I ever did here at the church. And uh, there's Elwood and uh, Miss Glinda's on the piano right there. And I baptized Miss Linda Music. Here we go, next one. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that's, uh, that, that's uh, Clark Mahoney. That's Pastor Clark Mahoney. So that goes back two pastors ago. Next one, let me see here. Ah, hey. Sammy Jefferson, that's you. And uh, praise the Lord, me and Mrs. Nettison. That's good right there. Let's see this next one. Oh, yeah, Norman and uh, Francis Hardison. And here we go. Let's continue on here. Oh, Pat, that's Brother Kirk Hickok and one of the missionaries that were a part of this in this new building. Let's look at the next one. Here we go. Our new auditorium being built. Praise God for this wonderful building the Lord has given us. Next one, and uh, ah, that right there is, uh, we'll get that, we'll go off of that one, we'll, we'll get back to that one in a little bit later. Don't look, nobody look at that, nobody look at that. You're not supposed to look at that yet, we'll talk about that later. Happy anniversary, at the end of the service, we have some postcards for you, and uh, praise the Lord for uh, the history of our church. 